Hello, who are you and where are you from? Willie Fontanet. I'm from New Iberia, Louisiana. I live in Galveston now, but... How long have you lived here? About 20 something years. Holy mackerel. Has the, um, what have you do, what do you do? Uh, uh, I, I was a, a subcontractor. All right. But now I don't do nothing. And uh, what, uh, has the climate changed much since you were a kid? Yes, it has. It's, it's getting hot and it's getting very cold. Mm. In between, less rain, no snow. And uh, do you think about climate on an everyday basis? Say on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most concerned. Where would you put yourself? Uh, 10 being uh, the most concerned? I would be concerned about 10. Oh, and yeah. why is that? Because most of, most of it is the sun, heat. Every time you look up, they're sending some some, you know, some kind of rocket to closer to the moon or whatever. And to me, it's bringing the earth kind of closer to the sun. That's to my opinion. You keep on shooting shooting stuff up, up there, that's why it's getting hotter and hotter, in my opinion. Today it was 105. Yes, and I cut three yards today. <laughs> oh. Yeah, now I got one, one more tomorrow, we'll cut grass. And, and uh, what about the future? Are things going to get better or are things going to get worse? Or is there anything we can do about it? I think it's going to get worse because, uh, like now, I guess it's uh, more people dying from the heat and then the uh, cold weather makes it a little better. Uh, right now, in my opinion, it's the water supply, I think. Because more, uh, more sun dissolves the water. Our beach is getting hotter, our lakes are getting drier. Our grass ain't getting no, no greener because uh, less rain. Uh, our older people need air conditions. No air conditions, they suffocate because of the heat. And in wintertime, it's, it's cold enough with no, uh, with, with no heat. And I have too much heat. Well, very good. Anything else? Uh, so far. All right. Well, very good. This is the 13th of July, and we are in Galveston, Texas. Thank you very much. Okay.